Hey, what's up? You are watching Nature Travel Films. Today we are going to film video about how to control your Mavic Mini cinematic way. So I am going to show you joystick view and uh, the tips and tricks, how I control the Mavic Mini, what mode I shoot in and what stuff I do to get most cinematic shots out of the Mavic Mini. Let's get started. begin with joystick it's a little bit too cold for flying without them because the fingers are losing their potential to be precise but let's check return to home altitude check before the flying this data because it's important for you to set most relevant parameters for your situation so i always shoot in mostly like 99 percent and maybe 90 okay 90 95 percent in cine smooth mode because it's the best mode for cinematic moves also the mavic mini cine smooth mode is tuned the way that you are able to fly fast and slow in one mode movement so sometimes i switch to p because i'm like ultra far so but most of the time not so let's start up. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. That's the Mavic Mini. First that I do is tuning some exposure to my liking. So it's around um, this is kinda okay and then lock it. So after the locking exposure, let's get the glow back. So everybody knows the simple shots that they everybody can do is just like this is the way I hold the joysticks with two fingers like this and the one finger is going to here so to control the gimbal. Let's begin just with like simplest move and this is the going forward and upwards in the same time and gimbal down so Slight tilting gimbal down gives you a little bit more interesting solution. So this could be a nice move. This is very simple but classic and works very fine. So very important move. I want to give you I want to give you a routine that you can repeat and uh, become a better pilot. So very important move is to try to slightly push joystick to one side and to push the another one opposite way so when you do one joystick faster than other it's not uh, going circular way it's just moving sideways but if you do it right amount in the same time drone starts to fly circular way so this is the most cinematic move one of the most cinematic so if you have free space where to train you can find some field or something and just train this as much as you can it's never too much of this so this is the best movement i recommend to train to do so this is the most uh, cinematic thing that you can film so Like 70% of shots consist of this in my edits. It's never too much. When you make yourself good in this move, you can start to add 
uh, altitude gain while doing the same and a rotation of gimbal also is very supportive in this thing so and then you can do the same but lowering altitude so this is the most cinematic move that I love to do so this is crazy so but it's a little bit hard to move gimbal in right speed sometimes but this is the combination that works like 100% when you do it so this is the key moves for the best possible results so those work 100% of time so if you nail them everything can look super cool if you are in good location in nice light this is going to be an awesome shot 100% so this is the most common used shots so let's change exposure a little bit it's a little bit too dark so like this let's lock it just practice this move you can start even without uh, gimbal so just center some object and do moves two joysticks just sideways simultaneously same distance from center so this is definitely going to give you some cinematic moves so as slow as you can do it in, in close objects like here it's a situation where it's very close so you can the cine smooth mode is tuned so well that you can actually do it super slow this is very cinematic so if there's something is happening so you can do this and then also you can do it fast so let's just find the right balance so it's also sometimes cinematic if you are far away this works so because of here is some interference I didn't want to gain altitude because I don't know why but it's like not working that much well so let's try to do this it's crazy interference here but still you know if we center to the big object faster move looks better so but this the best real shot that you can make actually yeah this is very laggy in terms of signal but this is a great move for like any location this is some definitely a successful solution for you so crazy lags but if you nail the joystick position the sticks position so even if you don't see it should be fine so some birds around the drone crazy some crazy interference here so didn't expect that flying low to the ground actually is also very dynamic and cinematic so if you do even simple slide to the side and what we learned before some rotation simultaneously you get cinematic results so you can go down and forward and it looks cinematic so you don't need to fly far away and high to get some cinematic drone shots drone is going to work fine if you're not high up especially when you combine it with something like higher that uh, it's looking like it's drone shot and then you're just going lower and lower and lower and it, it looks very cinematic and then combine it with some getting up so it's also a great combination so so let's get to the these are the most common 
used by me flying techniques. So this is 100% successful. If you nail this, you're going to make videos like they're going to look cool. So you need to obligatory film in a nice light, like sunrise or sunset and hour before and after. So the blue hour uh, is also looking nice for some specific shoots. So let's try another one thing. Here we have some trees and uh, we can fly through them. So let's film this. I will reposition the main camera to make you able to see what I'm doing. It looks small space for the Mavic, but actually for Mini it's not it's it's okay. So the thing you need to do I heard this uh, also the thing that I agree with uh, that you know you don't need to you can fear but if you decide to go you just need to go if you feel something going wrong just correct so go straight and if you see you always can correct the drone path so you can fly and then correct but just don't be in rush so you always can correct like go a little bit here so I can try another move here also. So try to fly low to the ground. It could be nice shot. So let's try. I'm the lowest possible option. And then there is windy a little bit. So but I'm just taking this decision to fly through. So okay, I did it. And then I can just get up and film. We combine those tricks that I told you before so you start very low just going through something this is the next level when you're confident in in Cine's move when you nail your controls and you're not afraid of doing something crazy so let's try to do one crazy stuff this is much harder because I need to go from far away to this small gates I'm a little bit afraid, but I decide and I see that I'm going through okay. And that's, I just did it. So it's, it's cool. This makes you happy. So let's try to film low to the ground in this, between these trees again. Improve some more this shot. So we're seeing that we are going fine. And let's try to film ground low shots and getting up so you can add to it crazy. So it's crazy how cool you can make this shot looking. So nobody can do something like this with the camera. So yeah, I, I screwed it in the end, but okay, let's try backwards one another stuff if the signal is going to be fine. So here is very, crowded Wi-Fi interference. I don't know why, because it's park, so it shouldn't be like that. But it's crazy, you can see how stuttery the picture is, so... I'm relying only on my fingers. This is a little bit crazy, so... I want to fly through. I see that it's possible, definitely possible. One more thing that we can do, it's a little bit FPV kind of thing. So you can change directions, go up and just go down. All these moves are from the previous two that I teach you and you learned. So. So you can fly and then you can reposition your drone so it's not circular but it's more harder forms of flying so it could be so complicated actually but I don't see everything so Let's try more closer where the signal is better, so... 
let's try to go to this lamp so I can fly not only around the object but also down and then also start to fly forward from some position this is everything just from those two basic moves that I'll teach you before I wish you all the best and success in all your creative works. Just remember, you need to practice often. If you will do it um, two times a week at least, but it's going to be sequentially, like every week, at least two times, like of two or three batteries, practicing these shots after one month, you're going to film much, much better. So you're going to be able to perform these moves that just we did now in this tutorial. So these are the key things to do. From them, everything grows out. So there is lots of stuff that you can do more, but when you are progressing in this, you will discover more and more next um, complications that you can add on to those moves. So you can try to compensate like uh, when you rotate the drone trying to compensate as well in the same time uh, joystick position and then just if you do it simultaneously you will be able to rotate the drone and flying in the same straight line so it's kind of course lock stuff so this is probably the thing that we are going to do in the next video so thanks a lot for watching stay tuned you watch tutorial episode from nature trail films